hello everyone uh, welcome back so today we are going to talk about security defaults so basically the security defaults uh, provide a secure uh, default settings that microsoft manages on behalf of organizations uh, to keep the customers safe until the organizations are ready to manage their own identity security story so who should use the security defaults and who shouldn't use the security defaults so the organizations uh, who want to in increase the security uh, posture but uh, don't know how to start and where to start and the organizations uh, who are using the free tier of Azure Active Directory, they should use the security defaults. On the other hand, uh, the organizations which are using the conditional access policies and who have the premium uh, licenses should not use the security defaults. So let's uh, go ahead and check the security defaults. Go to the Azure Active Directory. So here you can see the properties. And here you can see manage security defaults. In this case, it is no. You can click yes, but right now I'm keeping it no since I'm going to show the conditional access policies. So let's go ahead and click no and uh, try to create some conditional access policies. So go to the security. Here you can see the conditional access. So let's go ahead and click, click it and create a new policy. So let me keep it as sample block policy. And uh, let me select the users. In this case, it is, I'll be selecting mine. So let's go ahead and click select got selected and uh, you have to choose the cloud apps in this case and choosing all the cloud apps and uh, let us go and check the conditions so we have different conditions like user sign in risk sign in risks and uh, so on so you can configure this one so let us say yes and medium even let us go and click sign in risks yes medium and even let us go to the locations so in this case i'm uh, giving any location so just leaving it default and coming to i'm just leaving client tabs and okay so let's go and uh, click the access controls in this case i'm blocking the access so if these conditions are satisfied, I'm going to block the access. So let's select it and uh, let's create. So I think I have not clicked on. I don't know what the issue was. Okay, let me get the same thing. In this case, let us go and only click the locations. Uh, so it will block my so just create it oh so it's, it has been on and let me go to the new tab
Okay. It should stop my access. Hmm. Okay, now we'll, like it 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 took some time. <sighs> so this is how. Uh, so right now we don't have access since uh, we have uh, blocked it. So this is how we need uh, we can use the conditional access policies. So right now I'm just uh, clicking it off and saving it. So now I think I'll be able to access it. Let's go ahead and refresh it. So now it's off and uh, let's go ahead and. Uh, Even though it takes some time, as we have seen, <laughs> so let's go ahead and... there you go. Right now, I can uh, go ahead and sign in. So, since I have removed this uh, conditional access policy, I was able to access. So this is how we can go ahead and implement the conditional access policies. Uh, if you have uh, liked the, if you understood uh, like what I've told, please click, click the like button below. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel. And uh, thank you guys.